Hey guys, welcome to Winecraft with Wine Geographic. My name is Mario Luna. I'm a certified sommelier with MarioLunaSom.com. This week, I'm drinking a mimosa. Because I like to do that every Friday, just like we showcase Winecraft here. I like to drink on my job. And um, I'm gonna showcase to you the perfect way to enjoy your mimosas. And it has everything to do with sugar, acid, balance. Most people when you drink mimosas, like equal parts like orange juice and sparkling wine, most of the time you go to the restaurant and you get brutes, but there's a different style that you gotta have if you wanna achieve that balance. It's called demi semi semiseco. It's semiseco if you're in Spain or, or in Italy, but I'm gonna show you the process now. Let me open up my notes and let's get started. So as we take a look at the notes, this is mimosa, it's sparkling wine, orange juice. That's easy. And when you normally have sparkling wine, it's usually brute when you go to the restaurants and get bottomless mimosas. But if I'm gonna give you the best advice for the perfect mimosa, you have to enjoy the wines that are labeled demi semi-secco, and semi-secco. This is when you're in France, Italy, and Spain. Why? Because you can achieve balance between the orange juice and a sweetened sparkling wine equal to perfect drink for you. Let me explain that process. So, you have Brut, and Brut is that dry, dry finish that sparkling wines are known for. How do they do that? They, the wineries, these champagne houses, they convert all the sugar into alcohol by installing yeast, and the yeast eats the sugar, makes the alcohol go up, makes the acid go up while the sugar goes down. It's the balance. That's what makes it balanced for sparkling wine, like champagne or anything that makes brew. But if you're mixing it with orange juice, it's sweet and tart. So you know whether it's fresh squeezed or canned or out of a gallon jug, obviously there's no alcohol in it. And the acid and sugar, it's perfectly balanced. That's why it's perfect to have at any point of the day. It's healthy, nutrients are great. It's just the, the acidity from orange juice is not that intense. So that relationship between acid and sugar is fantastic. Back over to the demi set, semi secos or semi secos. As you start noticing, the alcohol goes down while the acid and the sugar are actually equal. Well, why is that? They do not convert all the sugar into alcohol like brutes. So if you keep the acid and sugar balanced between the orange juice and demi says, this is how you have the perfect mimosa. Just remember, pairing like qualities equals perfection. So when you're making mimosas, get your orange juice, and get your demi say semi secos or semi secos and enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the information about mimosas here on Winecraft. And uh, check below of uh, suggestions by Wine Geographic of different types of semi secos, demi says, semi secos from Spain that could be the best for you and at a better price point than you can find in brute sparkling wines. Check us out every Friday at WineGeographic.com. And I'm, my name is Mario Luna. I'm a certified sommelier from MarioLunaSom.com. See you next week.